Hey, Greg Getter here, and in the last couple of videos, I've been talking about the inability for American exporters to get their goods onto cargo ships because the shipping companies are preferring to export empty containers back to China. And this is because the value of the container coming from China to the US is much, much higher than the value of the container going from the US to China. So they'd rather turn them around right away instead of wait for the goods to get back onto the ships. Now, this is a super interesting topic to me, and I know it's not the most popular video on this channel, but I'm really interested in the topic, so I wanted to zoom into it a bit more. And I saw this article in the Wall Street Journal yesterday that said that there's a crackdown or investigation on what's going on here. The US Federal Maritime Commission is doing an investigation into these companies to see if there's any foul play here, because it's certainly impacting the ability of the US to export goods. So I read this article in the Wall Street Journal and I highlighted some of the key points so you don't have to read the whole thing or even subscribe to the Wall Street Journal since you have to pay for this article. The first thing that's interesting is that they're only investigating these three ports according to this article, the Port of Los Angeles, Long Beach, and New York, uh, where these backups and traffic jams are occurring. I assume the issue is somewhat widespread at the other ports, but they're probably focusing on these ports as they are some of the largest. I took a look at Wikipedia, and these three ports were in the top 10 in terms of total cargo volume, at least in 2013. So they are some of the busiest ports. This article says that the Port of Los Angeles and Long Beach handled 35% more containers outbound this October than they did last October. So it seems like this practice has been going on for a while, the demand for containers coming out of Asia has been higher than coming out of the US, but it's only exacerbated right now because of the trade imbalances due to the pandemic. According to the article, the companies that are complaining are exporters of soybeans, cotton, lumber, and hay. So food, agricultural products, building supplies, and clothing materials. And just to confirm why this whole thing is happening in the first place, here's this line. High demand by retailers and manufacturers to replenish inventories that had been depleted during the pandemic has sent shipping rates out of Asia soaring and ocean carriers can command up to eight times more for Asia exports than supplies of lower value US agricultural goods will pay. So the value of the goods coming out of China are much, much higher than what the US is exporting. So it's like the MacBook argument. If you were to fill a container with MacBooks, that whole container value is gonna be much, much higher than a container worth of soybeans. So that's just a little bit more about the situation and I'll continue to monitor it and post here if there's anything else that's interesting that comes up. If you've got any interesting trade insights, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.